Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to introduce Quine McCluskey method. Quine McCluskey method is also known as it is also known as tabular method. Also known as tabular method. So Quine McCluskey is also known as tabular method. In examinations, most commonly used term is tabular method. Use uh, use tabular method to simplify the given boolean function like that you may get the question in the examinations okay the main purpose of this coin mccluskey is to simplify the boolean expressions okay most commonly you can use this uh, coin mccluskey for you are having uh, variables like more than six six or more than six then we can go for the coin mccluskey method and uh, even for the lesser number of uh, um, boolean expressions with uh, four variables five variables also we can use this Quine McCluskey it is commonly commonly used for simplification of simplification of boolean functions for four variable five variable six and so on number of variables okay suppose what is the main motto of this Quine McCluskey method is if you are having four variables like a b c d and i am having a variable i am having a min term one zero 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 one and I am having a where, uh, another min term like 4. 4 is represented in the 4 variable boolean expression as 0, 1, 0, 0. And 8 is also represented as 1, triple 0. That means if you see all these 3 min terms, here we have the number of 1s 1. Here in this, the number of 1s 1. Here also in this, the number of 1s 1. Okay. That means you can group 1, 4, 8. You can group these three min terms as a set. 1, 4, 8. Because these three min terms are having the number of 1s equal. Okay. Likewise, we have to make we have to make number of 1s 0 as one set number of ones one as one set number of ones two as one set and so on okay later again we need to do this grouping so stage by stage we have to group the number of uh, ones as a set that's why it is uh, known as tabular method i will tell with an example so first one first example obtain the set of obtain the set of prime implicants obtain the set of prime implicants for the boolean expression for the boolean function f is equal to summation of m of 0 1, 6, 7, 8, 9, 13, 14 and 15. Okay. So, we need to do this using tabular method. This is the question given. Tabular method. Okay. So, f is equal to given a summation of m of 0, 1, 6, 7, 8, 9, 13, 14 and 15. Now, we need to simplify this using tabular form method but here how many variables are there 0 is the minimum number 15 is the maximum number so 2 power 4 is equal to 16 so 2 power 4 4 variables we need to consider so 4 variables are there okay in the tabular form method first you need to represent all these in a table so first one column 1 first column so first column is First, you need to write all the min terms. What are the given min terms? First, you need to write down all those min terms. So, 
so 0 1 okay 0 is having four zeros 0 has four zeros next 1 1 has 1 has 1 1 0 0 0 1 so this one mintum one has number of ones as one in this particular representation and similarly which is, which is the other one which is having number of ones one six is having two ones seven is having suppose uh, for the same you better note down here so that you can easily write if you don't know the representation zero 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 zero, 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 zero one 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 1 triple 0 1 double 0 1 and 13 means double 1 0 1 14 triple 1 0 15 means all ones okay this is what we have got from the given boolean function now see this is Number of zeros, number of ones, zero. So that is first one. Next again, number of ones, one. So here this one, and again this one is completed, and again number of ones, one now. Here eight. <coughs> so eight is having number of ones, one. So this is one set, and this is another set. Next, go to the number of ones, two. So two means six is there. Six we are having. Number of ones two, six is over, and again we are having nine. Nine has two ones. One double zero one. That's it. Okay. Next, after six nine seven zero one one one. So three ones. Next thirteen one one zero one. Next, 14, 14, triple 1, 0. After this, we are having 15. So, 15 as a separate one because 15 has 4 ones. Okay. Now, see here properly, compare this one, this 0 with the 1 and 8. Okay. So that what we need to identify is out of four numbers, out of four numbers, three should be common and one should be variant. Those variant should be represented as dash in column two. Okay. Suppose zero comma one. We can make zero comma one as one group. So zero comma one then first three are common so 0 0 0 and the last one is variable one is 0 and other one is 1 so you can take a dash and similarly 0 8 also you can represent in the same way 0 8 0 8 first one is different and remaining common next this one with the next two groups okay first group second group we have taken and again second group and third group can you compare 1 and 6 no because three variations are there you cannot compare 1 and 9 1 and 9 we can compare 1 9 because in 1 9 0 0 0 1 9 is having 1 double 0 1 so a first one and remaining are like this so 1 9 dash double zero 1 and similarly 8 9 8 9 so 8 9 first one is common next two also common last one is vari variable so 1 double zero dash this group is also over again next two groups 6 9 with 7 13 14 so 6 7 Six seven, so zero one one dash, and similarly six fourteen dash one one zero. Similarly nine 
thirteen nine thirteen one dash zero one okay and next set don't have dash here okay next set i am writing here before this 15 we have 7 13 14 so 7 13 14 we need to compare with this 15 so that we can write 7 comma 15 as one set dash triple 1 13 15 1 1 dash 1 14 15 triple 1 dash this is one set okay and next again take third column take third column and again compare this group with this group 0 1 1 9 0 1 8 9 0 8 1 9 0 8 8 9 if you compare this 0 1 8 9 you can write a group as 0 1 8 9 see here except the first one 0 0 dash these three are common so that's why it is dash 0 0 dash okay next this group is over next one 6 7 6 14 9 13 from this first so 6 7 14 15 okay so 6 7 14 15 here we have triple one dash so here we have 0 double one dash so dash 1 1 dash okay so beyond this you cannot go we cannot go to the column 4 because in column 4 it goes to another reduction here in the first column see what we are doing is in the first column all the mean terms are present in the first column all the min terms are present in the second column in the second column one min term is eliminated eliminated that means so one variable is eliminated in the first column all the variables are present in the second column one variable is eliminated see properly in all the min terms one variable is eliminated in column 3 you have eliminated two variables if you go to column 4 that means if you are able to represent in column 4 means one more variable is going to be eliminated but that is not possible here okay so we, because see dash 00 dash dash 11 dash there is no common term suppose if you are having dash 01 dash then you can write like that okay you cannot get the other no, other column 4 Okay, this is the maximum possible reduction but we need to ensure that all the min terms which are given in the given question must be covered in this prime implicants see here 0 1 8 9 so 0 is covered 1 is covered 8 is covered 9 is covered and next 6 7 14 15 6 is over 7 is over 14 and 15 is over but which is left 13 is left here 13 is left okay so that's why you can take 9 13 okay you can take 9 13 and as well as you can take 13 15 you can take 9 13 and as well as you can take 13 15 because 13 is not at all covered in any of these column 3 okay so wherever we have 13 in the column 2 those two also considered then write so whatever the terms we have 0 1 8 9 this is one set we have got the expression for this one is dash 0 0 dash okay next 6 7 14 15 6 7 14 15 the expression for this one is dash 1 1 dash next 913 913 the expression is 1 dash 0 1 next one 1315 
the expression for this one is 1 1 dash 1 so this is a b c d okay now what is the expression for this one see b me here dash means that variable is eliminated you no need to write that in particular dash so dash 0 0 dash so a d gone here and b c are represented in b bar and c bar here it is a d gone b c here it is b gone a c bar d and this one a b d here d gone c gone okay so if you write all these in an expression then it is b bar c bar plus b c plus a c bar d plus a b d this is the finalized expression from the quine mccluskey method or tabular form method okay in this way you need to write the given min terms in one first column with their representation as 0 0 0 0 to all ones and in column 2 what we have to do we need to identify we need to divide the given min terms based on the number of ones present in that values so first we need to write uh, first we need to uh, represent that in the column 1 so number of ones number of 0 number of ones as 0 number of ones as 1 2 3 and so on like that again we need to map in column 2 and column 3 and how, up to how many possible mapping should be there that many possible uh, mappings we need to write after that we need to identify if any whether all the min terms are covered in the given question or not in the final column if not we need to take those missing terms finally okay this is quine mccluskey method or tabular form method thank you